Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Proviance. This is the way to grill pineapple upside down cake. The way I see it, any real grill master can do an entire meal, start to finish, appetizers through dessert. So here is one option for a great dessert done on the grill. Starts with pineapple. I'm going to grill these beauties right here. What I've done already is to peel the pineapple and cut the rings into about a half an inch thickness and give them all a little light brushing of, of butter. I've got the grill set up for direct medium heat. I'm just going to set them right down and caramelize that surface. I'm just looking for a nice golden brown. It's going to develop some interesting flavor and it's going to look nice. Very often I grill with the lid down, but in this case I'm going to leave the lid open because I don't really want to trap the smoke. I don't want to keep an eye on these things. There's a lot of sugar in these and they, they can burn on me quickly. So I, now I've got some really good grill marks on there. I don't want to cook the pineapple completely through yet because it's going to cook actually in the skillet as well. All right, the pineapples are nicely brown. Now it's time to create kind of a glaze. I'm going to melt some brown sugar and cinnamon and uh, cream together. And they're going to flavor the pineapples really nicely. I'm using a heavy duty cast iron uh, pan here. This is just the, the leftover butter from the, the pineapples. And this is heavy cream. And I'm going to continue to cook here over direct medium heat. It's going to take a couple of minutes for the sugar to melt and for the glaze to form. So take a look at this, bubbling away. Looks good already, huh? Obviously using an insulated mitt here and putting it on a heat proof surface. Now, very carefully, I'd like to arrange the pineapple in that syrupy glaze with both whole pieces and then some smaller pieces, however they fit. And then earlier, you saw me make that batter and here it is. I'm just going to spoon that over the top. It's a very light coating. I, did, I don't want this to be a super thick, cakey dessert. I want it to be more about the grilled pineapple. Spread it out. It'll puff up just a little bit because of the baking soda and the baking powder. And then we'll finish it by actually inverting the whole thing so the pineapples are on the top makes a really nice display and it's super delicious. Okay, so that's now ready to go back on the grill. It's going to take about 40, maybe 50 minutes to cook through. Okay, check this out. It's been about 45 minutes. Cake is looking good. I can tell it's done because if I take a toothpick and insert it into the batter, pull it out, it's perfectly clean. So as I said, this cake gets inverted onto a platter so that the pineapples are on top. But before I do that, I just need to let it cool for about 10 minutes. That way the syrup will begin to congeal a little bit. It won't be so raging hot and it'll come out of the pan nice and easy. The moment has come. It's time to see if it actually does release easily. Just to help it along, I'm going to take a paring knife or a dinner knife, just run it around the outside, make sure that it has released at least from the side. And then get yourself a big platter, slightly larger than the skillet itself. And we're going to invert. How about that? Now you can serve this warm or at room temperature. If you really wanted to gild the lily, you could serve a little rum flavored whipped cream with this. But just as is, that's going to make somebody really happy. Who wants cake? <laughs> <laughs>